so here's a quick review of um, a cheap kind of Chinese special action cam, if you like. Now, uh, I wanted an ever so quick one just to uh, strap to the car to go and record some footage, mostly when I was around on a track. Um, but I didn't want to pay the price of the GoPros. Um, just I can't justify 400 quid, basically. So I did some looking around and um, I came up with this little thing here, um, which is, as you can see, the Acme, <laughs> what an awesome name, uh, 4K little action cam. Um, looks very similar to a GoPro, weighs very similar. Um, difference is this says, well, it says there, it'll do 4K. Um, and it was only eighty pound delivered. Um, you can see the little box. Now, what kind of drew me to this over the GoPros was that it comes with all of this. It comes with loads of stuff in it. Whereas the GoPros, you just get the camera and the weather shield usually. Um, so we'll go through. We've got this, which in the UK, pretty much useless. It's a mains charger for the USB cable. Not much point. Little cleaning cloth, weatherproof mount, which has obviously your buttons all over. Um, standard clip. Two batteries and a little charger. Again, runs off USB. Um, so you can either plug it into the mains or, as I do, straight into a computer. Runs off a standard uh, micro. USB connection, um, like you would use for your phone, your tablet, anything like that, really. Um, comes with a couple of little mounts. Now, these aren't suction mounts. They are 3M tape mounts, so you have to be fairly sure that wherever you want them is going to be permanent. Spare back panel for the screen, which I thought was quite nice because um, it does get scratched a fair amount um, loads of little different mounting clips at different angles some are right angles some are but some are kind of left-handed mounts others are right some are vertical some are horizontal mounts these two kind of little bits bolt together to work with this which is a non-weatherproof shielded mount for it so you can hold it up it's got a thread on the bottom which yeah, again goes into there comes with a very short little USB cable um, don't know if the phone will focus on that um, little carry strap a couple of little velcro straps um, if you just want to wrap it somewhere also has that which is quite amusing a little kind of body clip if you want to put it on just like clip it to your vest or something I suppose kind of useless to most people although don't know I was going to say if you're into like an extreme sports kind of thing or whatever or you wouldn't really use that you'd strap it to your helmet or something using the 3M bike handlebar mount and a cat hi cat um, so yeah just a little bike handlebar mount screws up screws off it doesn't have necessarily have to be a bike handlebar anything that you can kind of clamp it around will do um, handful of tie wraps and a little metal strap just uh, yeah to hold it in so that's it really now back to the camera um, it's got a fairly decent sized screen now the batteries are flat at the moment so I'm not charging them up yet a fairly decent sized screen for you to see through it behaves almost identical to um, like a girlfriend GoPro, but um, it does have built-in Wi-Fi. Now, the theory is, I can't show you because I'm obviously recording this on my phone, but the theory is, is that you can sync it to the phone for um, real-time syncing um, and real-time video recording transfer. Not been able to get that working so far, and I, now I know others have, um, so I don't know if this is just an issue with me or what. Um, it's got Stereo mics, there's one there, and somewhere else if you want, don't know. There, on the top. 
and so it will record stereo for the sound. Apart from that, built-in fisheye lens, um, it's got HDMI output there, a little one mini HDMI, not that you can probably see that from here. There you go, and obviously with USB now, you would have thought the USB would connect straight to computers for you to be able to transfer files off or charge it, the battery in place, that doesn't appear to be the case. Um, when you plug it into a computer, it does say connecting, but nothing ever actually appears on the um, on the computer. So I don't know if there's some separate software or something that we have to say um, set up that I've not done yet. USB, uh, not USB, uh, micro SD card, one of the little variety. Now this uh, this takes a maximum of thirty two gig cards. Um, now 32 gig if you try recording 4K doesn't last very long. Um, it's just under three hours if you do 60 frames a second 1080p, and just under six hours if you're going to do 1080p 30 frames a second. Which there's very little difference between the two. Um, the quality of the 4K isn't really worth it. So rather than even bothering with the 4K. Um, just stick with 1080p it's not what I would consider true 4k anyway the quality isn't there the colors aren't there and it's only 30 frames a second so you're still probably better sticking off with 1080p um, but apart from that that's it I mean for what it costs it's, um, it's actually a great little bit of kit it would have been nice if it came with a suction mount um, instead of two of these one one of these could have been a nice little suction cup that would have been nice um but yeah for for what it cost you get a fair amount of kit and the picture quality isn't too bad um there'll be a link in this video description to another video which was actually done or recorded with this um uh, completely unedited all it is is just strapped together um from various little bits of clips whilst we were working on the car so you can see what it's like. Part of it was recorded in 1080p 60, part of it was recorded in 1080p 30. Um, but yeah, apart from that, kind of, I'm quite happy with it for um, for what it cost. And the important thing is you can buy four of these for the price of one GoPro. So if you think if you want to um, have them strapped all around your car, like one facing inwards, one facing down the side, one facing out the front, one out the back or whatever, you're going to want, three or four anyway so three or four gopros you're talking a thousand quid um quite easily three or four of these you're talking the price of one gopro so yeah so that's it really um not a bad little kit for what you get and not a bad uh not a bad price for it all plenty of spares and plenty of little bits around so yeah have fun